Hello and welcome back to Cave of Cud. Here we are back at it again. At Eat Freehold. Why are we going to Eat Freehold? Well, it's been a while. It's been a been a second. Um I say it's been a while. It's been literally like two seconds since we've been at Eat Freehold, but I, I wanna do a quick check. This is honestly one of the closest places we can go to. Um to uh what you call it what you call it my brain my brain my brain my brain um rainbow wood thank you brain you, you, you never let me down except when you do um sell some chem cells oh that's perfect that's wonderful get some more bits mostly it's the microcontrollers that we want we have some books, not a lot. We have, we should, uh, I should make some Hulk honey injectors because uh, we, we've got some albino ape hearts and they take up room in your inventory. They, they actually take, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're heavy. They have some heft to them and it's not worth keeping them. Okay, uh, S, disassemble, disassemble. Sorry, this is a, such a, th you know, I should start being a bit pickier about the, the kind of bits that I carry, you know? Or the ones I buy, I should say. But you know, it's kind of nice never needing bits for anything. Um, kind of tempted to try, like we have enough, we could make another Eigen Pistol. These are actually not even that expensive. We don't have to dabble in like, modding our eigen pistol so i kind of want to do this don't don't mind the background noise sorry about that uh yeah i kind of want to i want to get i want to do this we have an um eigen rifle i don't know where we got this jacked eigen rifle i didn't mod that by the way that was not me so i'll just go ahead and disassemble it probably we could have got a lot of uh bits from it but whatever turbo we don't need Should probably set those to um, treat as scrap. So let's mod this. Okay, it's not too bad. We can mod it with jacked. And then mod it with scoped. So that's actually not bad. We can afford to do that one more time. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think I will switch up to eigen pistols. Uh, I'm gonna mod this with jacked and scoped and there we go cost is the last of our photonics those are pretty valuable bits but that's okay and then we're gonna go ahead and um well first of all we don't really have to put antimatter cells in these but i'm gonna uh remove remove someone you know out there you can go tell me if this is a you know what what you would do these are the same damage less penetration right so i understand that eigen pistols sound like a downgrade i get that um the reason i'm doing it is because they have uh they're, they're, the bullets will pass through enemies and possibly hit more enemies which is something we will you know, really make use of in, in the coming uh, dungeons. So that's my logic, but maybe I'm like completely off on this one. It could be that I'm just like off base on this one. And I'd like to hear from you. Why are we not equipping? Yo, what happened to our psionic? I didn't sell my psionic weapon, did I? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Why Why do I not have my psionic mace? Does it disappear eventually? There's a good way to find out if I accidentally sold it, which is to go back to the stilt. I'm pretty sure I didn't sell it. I don't think I would have done that, right? That would be truly just the worst thing I could do. Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little bit distraught about that. Because we finally got a um, 
psionic crystal mace. And I was pretty stoked about that. I was pretty pretty excited about it. Uh, flawless crystal mace. We got another one. Oh, love injector. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. There it is, boys. By the rest of the herb berries. I've been kind of burning through the, them herb berries. Um... I don't know if any... I, I guess I could sell some solar cells at some point. Okay, we want to sell these daggers. And this crystal mace. I'm not going to use the crystal mace. And then this dagger. And then I I still need to deal with this jacked uh, mag hammer. Because it's got an anti... anti uh, something. <laughs> it's got... <laughs> What do you mean, an antimatter cell in it that I don't really want to get rid of? Um, let's sell this space inverter. And wow, I mean, I guess this is pretty expensive stuff here. Because uh, I need 3,000. I mean, it is Taco Supremas. You might ask, why Why are you buying Taco Supremas? Oh, let's get rid of this albino oh, pelt. Because it's better trade goods in some ways than... Um, like some of the best trade goods like for instance this rough agate gemstone even like we're buying at a loss don't don't make no mistake i understand that we are buying at a loss um but like one taco suprema we can sell like let's see how much do we sell a taco suprema at 475 we're not we're not buying at that much of a loss taco supremas are zero weight and they're 475 so that means they're worth one, two, three, basically three of these gems. And these all these each weigh one, right? So it's just, oh, look how close, look how on the nose I was there. Actually, I'm gonna keep that last one because I, I wanna get rid of some of this water. So it's it's just worth, um, it's worth uh, buying Taco Suprema. Just in case you're curious about that. So I'm going to go back. I, I know this sucks. Um, first of all, I'm going to replace the uh, grit gate recoiler with a solar cell. There we go. Sorry, my brain is starting to melt. I've been playing a lot of grit, um, Caves of Cud today, and it's probably affecting my brain. So... But yeah, we're gonna go back to Grit Gate. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna go back to Grit Gate and I'm gonna go and... Um, see, my brain, it's gone. It's gone. We're gonna go check the six day still to see if I sold my psionic mace by accident. I don't think I did, but I don't know how else I would've, you know, where else it would've gone. I don't think the psionic weapons disappear, do they? Maybe someone could tell me about this. We're already eight minutes in, and all I've done so far is, uh... I'm lost. The only thing I've done is, is inventory management. This keeps happening, doesn't it? Sense of vast animus. Bring it on. Bring it on, vast animus. I welcome you into my arms. Yeah, see the... Oh, there we go. Yes, plus one ego permanently. Excellent. At least we got some ego for our troubles. Um, the Eigen bullets pass through enemies and then hit other enemies and then pass through those enemies. Like, highly, highly worth it, I think. I think that they are basically an upgrade from, uh, you know, the the rail guns. Rail guns, great. I've, I've enjoyed the rail guns immensely. But at a certain point, they... I feel like I'd, I'd rather have take a loss on the penetration for like pass through damage because the pass through damage is going to like add up over time eventually it, I think it would do oh my god stop getting lost please you know what let's I, I don't think I've taken all the wayfaring let's just take all the wayfaring because I'm done <laughs> with this getting lost at all ever there we go, canyons, we've got everything else. And you know, while we're at it, let's uh, get some, let's take some other skills. I, I've, I've been kind of like 
sleeping on a lot of this. Could take agility at some point. Cudgel. We don't we don't have demolish. So we should take demolish. I should take um, charge. I think that's in tactics. I should probably check before I just buy the skill. Yeah, we got okay, we'll take charge. Uh that that was a good pun right there. Charging strike, we'll take that. That's all good stuff. Um persuasion is probably these are really good skills to have. So we'll take persuasion, because they're all ego based. Inspiring presence is probably great. Your words embolden your companions. I don't know how that works, but maybe it just it just makes it gives a buff. Um, I should take some some pistol skills at some point, but uh, I don't think we have the agility to do so. Yeah, not really. Our agility is only where it is because of something. I don't know what. So we've spent all our skill points. This is fine. This is good, actually. You don't really want to have a thousand skill points on your person. <laughs> That's another pun. I didn't. I didn't realize that. That's actually a good one. On your person, because tech. Te th that means you're carrying it, right? But technically, it is literally on our person. Funny. Those are funny. Good jokes. I am appreciating those jokes. Uh, oh, we're we're not lost anymore. Can't do it with hostiles nearby. All right, buddy. You don't see any hostiles nearby. Well, then why can't we leave? All right, go go. Sorry, I'm in a rush. Because, like, I, I've been spending a lot of time doing inventory management, and apparently now I have to go searching for more stuff. Because I, I don't, I, I want my psionic mace back. Like, I really do. I don't like the idea of not having that anymore. Uh, this guy has unfortunately refreshed his inventory. That's That could mean that if I did sell it to one of these lads, then it's just gone forever. Hate that. Hate that I might have done that. It is this. It is the kind of thing that I would do as well. Fitted with cleats. I can't believe we got this lucky. <laughs> and sure, I'll take high capacity as well. I think chiral rings are actually really good. Oh, those are Tinker 3. We could actually potentially get to Tinker 3 in this playthrough. Um, yeah, just like getting ridiculously lucky with some of these rolls. Um, actually kind of running into the problem of what to trade now, which is strange considering I've had like all of the money for the last like several episodes. Okay, we can sell two of these floating glow spheres. Am I off base in suggesting that floating glow spheres shouldn't actually weigh anything? We have a lag root tuber. Pretty sure that makes lag lag mash. Uh we could sell a slip ring, because I know how to make those. Yeah, that's just about perfect. And I'll sell this ontological anchor as well. Actually, no, that's a, that'll give me a photonic. That's the, the, it's worth keeping the bits on that. Unfortunately, data disks do actually weigh. Oh, we have to, we need Tinker 3 for fitted with suspensors. When powered, this item is weightless. Whoa, that's actually really cool. Uh, I already know high capacity, apparently. But I don't didn't know uh, masterwork, and this is Tinker Three, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell. Um, what, which one fitted with suspensors back? No, not that one. High capacity. We already know high capacity, and actually, that's a we have the perfect amount of water now. So I already apparently I did. I don't know if he refreshed his um, wares, but I, I don't know. We, we've apparently lost my sonic weapon. I have a funny feeling they just disappear. Because when you think about it, they're not actually, like, they're manifested from someone. Like, the person who wielded it, they made that weapon from their own, like, ego. And they're now they're dead, so the, the weapon would, con, you know, conceivably disappear eventually. But, I don't know. <laughs> Jewel encrusted you on that. Man, I really just keep coming back to this item, don't I? 
I really do. Um, I've been told it is really, really good. <laughs> Am I going to buy it for 4,000 trams? <laughs> uh... Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Why am I doing that? I don't know. It's jewel encrusted, which is kind of cool. Um, but I have so much stuff. Like it doesn't. Like I say, it doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna do this right way. All those crystal daggers, glow spheres, uh, Aegis. High fidelity, whatever. Um, don't really want to sell. We'll sell the flawless crystal. Well, I'll keep those in there on the very unfortunate circumstance that I uh, somehow lose my current gear and I need to start from scratch, basically. I guess I have all of this money that that is my, like, safekeeping. So I'm going to grab all of this. Probably it's like, this is way overkill. I don't need all of that stuff. But it's okay, because I'm just going to recoil back to Grit Gate and dump whatever's left back in there. But I, I this is for you, uh, one commenter who told me vehemently that Geomagnetic Disc was very good and that I was a fool. You didn't call me a fool. I appreciate you not calling me a fool. Oh, I was a dang fool for not uh, giving it a try at the very least. I... I'll say this, the reason I thought that, um, if, you, if you don't know, I thought that when you threw the geomagnetic disc, that was it. You got the one attack, and I'm pretty sure it has, like, very high penetration. If not, like, basically, it meets whatever AV that the person in question is uh, has that you're attacking. So, like, cool, right? But I, I was very convinced that that was it. Once it was, you know, once you burnt your one attack, then you had to go and pick up the disc again. And I really just didn't want to have to deal with that, right? Doesn't doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me. I don't know if it sounds like fun to you. Um, did I not pick up? Okay, I did pick up my stuff. Good. I was like wondering, where's all my stuff that I just picked up? Oh, those nuggets are heft. Okay, so we'll sell like that much. And let's get rid of the silver nuggets. And that's going to work out for me. Actually, I need to get rid of some water first, so we'll keep a couple more gold nuggets. There. So, um, I, I was off base on this. I was incorrect like a hundred percent owned by you that was weird oh i see no i don't really understand that why would it tell me owned by me um apparently when you hit an enemy with a geomagnetic disc it uh you know ricochets i'm sorry i'm, I'm getting like caught up here antimatter cell i thought that i had taken these out of the handrails So, um, since it's not the case, where is this missile weapon? Is it in a throne? Okay, throne weapon. Um, these, this is apparently a really good weapon because it bounces from one enemy to another. It's basically the Xena Warrior disc, which is really cool, admittedly. Um, can I mod this with tinkering? I can, but I can't add uh, jacked to it, which makes sense because it, it's not actually like attached to us. So, you know, that's fine. Um, this will be like the one thing that isn't jacked, um, not making use of our our uh, ability. So now we're going to go back to grit gate. I know this is like largely time consuming. And also, am I going to use a geomagnetic disc? Maybe. Like, it's a good companion to the eigen rifle, isn't it? Or eigen pistol, I should say. Um, so now we're going to come back here and we're going to dump a bunch of stuff off. I'm going to disassemble that ontological anchor. So don't, don't worry about that. 
Uh, I could drop off the long swords. They are pretty heavy. Oh, they're only four each, actually. I'll drop off this. I don't want that. And I'll drop off the scoped handrails. Did I not equip? I didn't equip the geomagnetic disc. I'm really good at this game. I'm really good at, like, basically wasting your, your time and mine as well. Um, is there anything else I should probably drop off? Yeah, let's drop off these data disks until I get to Tinker 3. And we have fitted with cleats, don't we? That means we need shoes. <laughs> Again. Oh, this has been quite the run. I say quite the run. I mean, it's not really a run anymore, is it? It's, it, this is like officially like a role play. Umber frock. I need to buy some shoes. Someone, someone here has some shoes for me. Surely, surely you have some shoes. Jeweled sandals, I'll take them. Leather moccasins, perfect. Perfect. Um, I mean, not perfect, because now I have to sell something to, to get that. But like, you know, it's good enough. Look how many dreadroot tubers we have. We could probably make a bunch of salves. Oh, we have mirror shards. I told you. I told you you can get mirror shards. So this is going to produce some kind of like reflecting ability if we cook with that. Um, okay, I'm going to, I'm kind of over it. So I'm going to sell a cybernetic credit wedge for these shoes. And we need one more shoe. Actually, I, I'm not sure how many shoes we need. Cleated, fitted with cleats. Or is it six? Oh god, why did it have to be six? Ugh. I told I was said that we were gonna do rainbow wood, and we are. Okay, we are actually gonna do um rainbow wood, I promise. Flaming Eigen rifle. No shoes. Mafio. Mafio might have it. Mafio's a general store. He might have it. Elastine slippers. Leather boots. Okay, so I think we just need two more after this. I don't know why I'm checking out the rest of his wares. Um, up, 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 up. Just gonna go... Oh, actually, we don't really need to hand in all that much. We could just buy them outright. Let's do that. Okay, continuing the quest for some shoes. This has been a very shoe-heavy playthrough of Cud, hasn't it? Your hair is so rectangular. This isn't a shoe, right? Plus two DV, yeah, that's not, that's not a shoe. You can't fool me, that's not a shoe. Nick, Nick is not selling me shoes. Otho, what about Otho? Otho does not have a shoe. He, wait, what was that? That wasn't... Visored. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I. Yeah. I keep, that's like again the sixth or seventh time I've probably looked at that. Be like, oh, what's visored? That's something good, isn't it? Nope. Scoped gas pump. Uh, and then the last but very much not least, we have spare fusile. Who's selling EMP grenades, gaslight chisel. Um. Nothing great. I'm gonna be more picky choosy about my bits because I'm I'm tired of it. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Eve Freehold. Someone who would definitely sell us uh, some shoes would be um, an Arcanaut. Pretty sure. Pretty sure Arcanauts would sell us some some shoes. I'm sure we could make some shoes. I don't know why I'm like. So obsessed with this, but like flashbang, wrist fan, chem cell, nothing, nothing wild. In fact, I'm pretty sure they didn't even refresh their their goods since the last time I was here. I'm just like, I, you know, I like the Betel quests. They've been very good to me. The Betel quests have been kind of astoundingly good, you know. Uh, lacquered anti-gravity boots. Okay, listen, there is a line. <laughs> There's 100% a, a line. And also, by the way, I should really equip, first of all, the 
the uh, geomagnetic disc and also another melee weapon because I'm not wielding one right now. Famished. Okay, so we are leaving. What, what, oh, no, we're not leaving. We're going to cook first. Okay, plus one MA for the rest of the day. That's not bad. We're going to the Rainbow Wood. We are going to the Rainbow Wood. It's it very much has been pending. I have no idea. A lair. No, I don't really want to discover a lair right now. What is this? Oh, that's the that's the Black Veil haunt. So, um, you want to be careful when entering. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, the Rainbow Wood, because there are going to be spots of the Rainbow Wood that look really like jungle. But you don't really want to find that. You can... It's actually, in a way, easier to get to the center of the Rainbow Wood than it has been. Just so, so I know, we are doing this, right? Uh... Convince the leaders of at least three settlements to provide sanctuary for this land. Q girls, blueprints for the climber, seek the heart of the rainbow. Yeah, okay, we are, this is the next part of the quest. Just had to make sure. Really, okay. Well, you don't really want to end up in the freaking primordial soup right away. And there's mushrooms here. There, There's a lot of mushrooms in Rainbow Wood. Not necessarily news. Oh, cool. Itchy skin, huh? Um, kind of want to kill you so that you don't develop a mushroom fungal. Like, for instance, a potentially uh, spore spreading one. I'm just not going to deal with it. Yeah, that's probably going to... That's, that's not going to bite me in the butt later, is it? Right? No way. There's some freshwater um, sludges, perhaps my least favorite. I don't like the ones that are made from edible or, or you know, nice beverages because they they, uh, they can be nasty. The nastiest ones of all. Of course, I think probably magma is going to be like the, the, the worst slime. They all get super abilities too, right? They're not just like comprised. Um, did I find the God's flesh? I don't think I found God's flesh. Hmm. I feel like I need to properly search this tile. Oh, there it is. Is this spores? Fungals? Oh, I have itchy skin. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want to deal with itchy skin right now. <sighs> All right, well, um, I guess we're going to have to deal with it anyway because... Uh, I do need to get rid of Pax Clang at a certain point, don't I? Uh, so let's go ahead and eat the God's flesh. Eater's flesh. It's going to say that a lot right now. A lot. I might have to get rid of the training lamprey. Oh, it's being attacked by a tri sludge. Nothing to nothing to sneeze at there. Can you stop? <laughs> like actually driving me kind of bonkers right now, bud. Says sense of vast animus, huh? Well, gee whiz. Aren't you well-timed? There is a vast animus here somewhere. 
I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm not gonna deal with any of this. Oh, there's there's Clang's Clank's uh, house. Hello. Uh, what kind of reputation do you have? Loved by fungi, hated by the Mapango, hated by trolls. Ugh. Actually, kind of tempted to kill Clank. We could uh, basically hand in the quest and then kill him later. Um, this would not be feasible in 1.0 because I'm pretty sure he's story necessary. Um, okay, we're selecting a limb. Let's do like an arm. I, I don't remember or recall being able to pick the the limb, but I guess I you know, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, we got some we got new quests. We can go ahead and hand this in uh on this episode. Uh spread it in in ya Yakom Id. I don't know where that is. Rusted Archway, Naphtali Tribe. Deep in the earth, twenty levels. Okay, that's not too bad. And to fish on a glow moth corpse. I don't think that that's very likely. Okay, so let's, first of all, we have a, um, yeah, look at that. We've got, we've got a recoiler. We're prepared. Um, we're gonna go 22 strata deep. I'm pretty sure, what did he want? 20 strata deep, right? Yeah, so now we're gonna puff Is it cycle? No. Um, stances? Demolish. Puff spores. Okay, there we go. That's the first step taken care of. Um, rusted archway. That'll be next, and that's pretty easy. So we'll go to... We'll go to our how, home and uh, go to the rusted archway from here. I, I, I'm a little bit worried about itchy skin. I wish we were inspired right now. If we were inspired, then I could try and cook the recipe. I know I've been like really lacking, slacking on uh, cooking that recipe, though, you know, the recipe. The one that is like super necessary for not contracting new fungal infections. But, you know. Choose ingredients. Let's do this. Um, jam. Do we get some jam? Star apple jam. And uh, someone was saying, I think it was um, Gavin was saying, you can use jerky to be like whenever you take damage. Which sounds pretty good. I think I'm going to stick with the water one because I, I don't, I think the likeliness is basically the same. We could also do a jerky. Maybe we'll get uh, a better chance of one of those, I guess. Whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance. One of your negative... Wow, we got really lucky there, didn't we? That's the, the, the likelihood on that is not great. I've had really bad luck in the past. And we immediately got rid of our itchy skin. Thank goodness. I'm really happy about that, actually. We're still going to have to get rid of um, Pax Clank. But I don't think it'll be... It's not going to be as bad. And I'm pretty sure he actually disappears if you fulfill all of his needs. Okay, items. Puff spores. Okay, that's another one down. Uh, we have to do Naphtali Tribe. Oh, and we did to fish. I don't remember spreading on the fish. Um, so we'll do Naphtali Tribe. They're super easy. We just gotta roam around in the jungle, basically. Let's go to a goat folk village. <laughs> I can't believe it. There's actually fungals here. Oh, wait. We're not enemies to goat folk anymore. Right. Uh, I forgot about that. We're actually, like, on pretty okay terms with goat folk. Huh. This is a new novelty for me. Not fearing the, the goat folk. Why is there just crystal shard mail hanging out here? 
And an artifact. What is this? Heartwinder. <laughs> well, this has been uh, this has been an episode, for sure. But uh, I need to kind of wander around. So this is going to mean wandering around in the jungle is actually far less dangerous than usual. Um, I need to find some Naphtali tribe to puff on. Try taking that out of context. We found a lava weep. Which is kind of fun, but not really super useful. I almost set off that mushroom that was like almost kind of dangerous. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna wander around for a bit. Like, the, the, the Naphtali are super common. Just have to check that we're actually okay. There's a Naphtali. Alright. Um, contract. Items. Puff. There we go. Perfect. And the infected crust of your skin on your lower left arm loosens and breaks away. We're good. We're totally good. I don't even need to kill that na uh, Naphtali. Why, why even bother, you know? Okay, so I think we are going to return to Gritgate now and hand in the next quest. Um, Otho. Are we... Hmm, do I have to give it to Q-Girl? Do I have to talk to Q-Girl? No, don't go to bed, Q-Girl. Ask me to deliver the, your blueprints to Pax Clank. Thank you. There we go. So now we go to Otho, I think. And we start the next part. No, we don't. Who are we talking to? What's our What's our next quest? Return to Gritgate and speak to Barathrum. Do we go? Oh, we're, oh, right. Okay, we're at a, we're at that stage. I, I thought we were still speaking to Otho, but no, we're we're talking to uh, Barathrum himself. Sorry to wake you, Barathrum. Um, I convinced Pax Clank to construct the climber, complete the quest. Barathromites increased to by one hundred to one eleven. Oh, and then we got a quantum moat, and we leveled up, and we're inspired. <laughs> of all the things, we swelled it with the inspiration to name our compass bracelet. No, I don't really want to. I'm sorry. Um, I will enter the Tomb of the Eaters as you ask. Thank you for the tattoo gun. And we can head to Ezra and kind of set things up. We don't have to do the Tomb of the Eaters just yet. But I should take the quest and then at least open the door and, uh, you know, uh, tattoo ourselves. Do all of that stuff. Okay, uh, who are you? Um, Petnant, Mopango. I would like to meet these Mopango. Ex accept the quest. And now we're gonna go get that. I'm pretty sure this, um, this mark, the mark of death, is different in every run. So it's asterisk, right bracket, at, at. Or just at. Um, so let's get the, let's use that, or is it tools, tattoo gun, is it, we need to use like a special tool, don't we, or is it quest item? What, where is it, is it just a normal tattoo gun that we use, or trinket? Um, I thought it was like a dimensional tattoo gun, like a special one, but I'm not seeing it. We should really like dump off all those quest items. I, I'm really bad about doing that. You know what I'm also really bad about? Not taking this stupid antimatter cell out of that jacked uh, mag hammer so I can now like sell it. We have this quantum mode. The quantum mode is really good. It might actually be worth uh, giving up what we currently have. I thought I dumped these off at that chest. Okay, I guess it's just a normal tattoo gun. 
tattoo ourselves um our let's do our <laughs> extra face so i can unequip the tattoo tattoo with asterisk right bracket at at right bracket asterisk enter um we'll do like red and gold i don't know now we'll do red as well mark of death of on your extra face so now we're super red i kind of like that although it does mean that if i'm in like if I'm, I'm very low health i won't be able to tell but when is that gonna happen never it'll never happen I promise uh metered just gotta you know oh sandals sandals we need those I was gonna try and hand in that quest. Do we have enough shoes yet? Um, one, two. Do we only have two? I thought I had more than that. Did I not buy that other stuff? I thought I bought, wait, close. Okay, there we go. So, okay, we have five. So we need uh, one more. Could we get some could we get some shoes? Crystal dagger. A lot of crystal daggers. Blaze injector. Meh. Okay, no shoes. It's a shame. We're really close to handing in that quest. Um, alright, so let's just like open up the door, I guess. We don't really have to do that. Um, we can open it up anytime. It's not like I'm gonna take the tattoo off. So uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we just need like one more shoe and then we can hand in another quest. Uh, other Besides that, I don't know. We could actually like consider checking out some of the Baroque ruins just to shake things up. Could do some more clam hopping because I do need to hand like get that achievement at some point. Um, and besides that, we need more goat folk reputation uh, from a own soul drinker. Uh, the next story quest, there's a couple of achievements associated with that. And I'm not sure what else. I think I think that's more or less it. We're, oh, Christia Longswords. I'll have a qu quick look through the achievements and see what else we can kind of burn through. Anyway, if you're enjoying the series, I think I already did that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Take it easy.